They said the guy who made the biggest push and the biggest improvements from spring to summer was Miles Brennan. They said, look, we know Joe Burrow is our guy, but Miles Brennan was the most improved player on this football team. And I mean, I know it's early, but he's thrown a couple really good passes and they love the work ethic that he's had since losing the job last year. On second and 11, complete. And inside the 10 goes Derek Dillon. I want you to explain to me, maybe not now, but later in this game, how bunching personnel closer to the ball allows you to spread things out. Joe Brady has brought to this LSU offense, and that's the reason he's completing a higher percentage of his balls, and this offense is being more productive and efficient. Over the middle again, between the numbers again. This time it's Derek Dillon. Talking with Joe Burrow yesterday, he said the offense last year, play action, turn your back to the line of scrimmage, try to find a limited number of receivers. That wasn't me. That's not what I'm good at, and I wasn't comfortable in it. This is something he's been running basically since high school. It's exactly what he ran in high school, and what he's so good at is eye control, anticipation, and he's super accurate when he sees the spacing of the field. And this offense is allowing him to do just that. No longer is he turning his back with two or three man, usually two man combinations. LSU loves these bunch routes down here near the red zone. Burrow over the middle, pass is caught, touchdown. Derek Dillon with the reception from seven yards out. Drop it off underneath, pass is caught, Derek Dillon. He'll have the first down at the Aggie 45, a nine yard pickup. Burrow, five out of eight, 56 yards. Steps up in the pocket. This one's caught again by Derek Dillon, but he is shy of the line to gain. They're gonna be about a yard shy. Shaq Bond comes up to make a nice tackle on Dillon. This is the seventh third down for LSU today. Over the middle, Derek Dillon. First down at the 43, 20-yard pickup. Wow, what an emergence, huh? Yeah, his dad, a longtime coach in college football, and here's his son going deep for another touchdown. Derek Dillon, 37 yards, and that's number three for his son. He said, Sean, I feel very offended. <laughs> Pass out in the flat to Derek Dillon. And I agree with you, they were number six, as we saw in the graphic this week in the college football playoff. Alabama number five lost. Utah's gonna move up to five. A lot of really good quarterbacks who have played in this conference. Some great quarterbacks. Of course, football's changed a lot. It's become much more pass happy than it was in yesteryear. Derek Dillon catches the pass from Miles Brennan. Using all of that play clock again. Burrow throws calmly to the 25, complete to Derek Dillon. It'll bring up third down. Take all of the clock. Burrow on a crossing route. Got Dillon. He's down to the four. Derek Dillon. A little bit behind that time. If it would have been right on him, I think Dillon could have turned up and possibly taken a shot for the goal line. Brennan, the little RPO action, and an accurate throw to Derek Dillon. His 14th catch of the year, senior from Franklinton, Louisiana. Same play that Joe Burrow threw his first touchdown of the ball game to Justin Jefferson. They're just kind of have the inside zone run. If that safety comes up, they throw the slant behind him. It's a run pass option, and Miles Brennan did a nice job reading it and delivering the football. Right now, LSU wants to run the football, run the clock, use as much of the play clock as they can. Can't imagine they snap it inside of 10 seconds on the play clock at all the rest of this football game. Derek Dillon again. You saw the big smile on his face after the catch a moment ago. He has a first down. Woody Washington made the tackle. That's 667 yards of offense. For LSU, that is a team record in the college football playoff. Oregon at 639 against Florida State. 
January 1st of 2015.